Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Today we're doing some uh, pruning out in our spruce field and we noticed the white pine weevil damage so I decided that I should probably do a video on this. So here we are, we're going to talk through kind of the life cycle of the insect, the things to look for when scouting, kind of what to do next year and how to correct it. So, so let's get into it. Pictured here are the adult white pine weevil. These guys are the ones doing all the damage. Uh, well, them and their younger selves. Um, so let's go on to the life cycle. Over winter, the adults emerge and they climb up the tree and they lay eggs in the tree. And that's what's actually uh, doing the damage is the eggs and the larva and the feeding. Um, that's what we're trying to control is those adults that are emerging over winter. And if we get a good control on them, they don't lay the eggs and no damage happens. So when the larva hatch and they feed on the tree that's kind of what we're going to see is the damage caused by them feeding and that's kind of going to be our scouting point but at this point spraying isn't going to do anything because they are inside under the trunk and the bark and they're protected then the larva will cocoon in the tree and then they will emerge as adults and then they'll kind of feed a little bit and then re-winter under the trees and start the whole process over so when scouting, this is what you're looking for, is kind of these dead tops. Um, we can see our scouting kind of mid-July here in Michigan. And, you know, they kind of favor, uh, on our farm, they, they like our Serbian spruce. And they will hit the Colorado Blues, but we haven't seen any damage in our Black Hills. So kind of what's going on in these tops, because I'm kind of a little nerd about this stuff, but I kind of cut the bark and the treetops out and what we see is all the dead I can't remember what you call this stuff in the the bark layer but uh all the larvae are feeding and we actually can see a little head of a larva here and again another larva here but they eat all this bark and that's what causes it to die and there's a little a little guy right there so that's what's happening now, to fix this, this year, you need to cut down the tree until you get to where there's no more damage. And then you can take one of these branches and turn it up and tape it so that hopefully that will kind of become the new leader. Now, this is going to take quite a long time, uh, maybe one or two years to kind of to fix this because this is pretty, some pretty serious damage that kind of goes back a well, two, three years when they when they feed in there. And what we're kind of hoping for is, you know, that, that new branch kind of takes over. So this is when we did a, I can't remember if it was last year, or at some point had some weevil damage. We can see the old top, and we tapened it up here. And this is what the rest of that tree looks like. So maybe by the time this is uh, sellable, I think in about two or three years, this will fill in and we won't be able to tell unless we you know, get another bug in there, which has, does happen. Again, here, the original leader was, uh, damaged, and we turned, you know, kind of two branches up, and here's the tree now, so we see one of the branches and another one, so at this point, like, trying to pick one may not work, and pulling two together might be easier, and just kind of see what happens, because the tree's already kind of, uh, kind of damaged, so what, what can you really do here? Um, next year, we've set up these traps, these, uh, teddy traps or pyramid traps from, uh, Great Lakes IPM with a lure and you put them out early in say, uh, mid to late March so that the, uh, overwintering adults kind of climb up this and you'll see them in this little scouting, uh, spot. They'll get trapped. And that'll be your kind of identification on when it's time to spray. So those adults start emerging and you see them, then it's time to uh, get out there and spray for these guys. Um, they become active very early, around uh, 35 growing degree day uh, 50. In uh, Michigan, usually that's like mid-April or so. What we do is we hook up our air blast sprayer and spray Lors Band once we, uh, once we see that damage. Hopefully uh, you guys have found this video educational and uh, learned something new. I always find it interesting to 
cut apart those uh, those tops to actually see the bug inside, just to I don't know, look your enemy in the eye, I guess. But uh, we've had really good success when we've used these traps. Lately, uh, the trees that they were attacking uh, are just our Serbian and not enough really to justify spraying yet. But we're gonna we're just gonna not plant Serbians anymore and see if the problem kind of goes away and. You know, if we hit one or two blues, I don't, I don't think that's that enough to really warrant to uh, going chemical on them. So, so that's it. I, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.